Hi guys, my name's Tris, and you're watching the channel The Detonator. So I have a confession to make. After all the years I've been playing guitar, I'm really poor at restringing. I know how to do it, and I, I do do it, obviously, but I don't think I'm very good at it. And in fact, over the years, I think I've been really bad at it. I've got both my guitars to restring in preparation for our next gig. So basically, I'm gonna restring the guitar and I'm gonna see how quickly and efficiently I can do it. Hopefully I've got all the tools I need. Fresh pack of learning balls. This guitar is the Schecter Blackjack ATX and it is tuned to E flat. So generally, you find regular sling key is, is okay. But yeah, this guitar's I've got a Floyd Rose. So you can't really get very far without an Allen key. Got the locks at the top, I've already loosened those off. And uh, what I do to save me getting confused is I only take off the one that I need at that particular moment in time and I keep the others in place usually. If there's anything that I do or I'm doing in this video that you think is completely bonkers or just straight up just wrong, please tell me in the comments because as I've already said, I, I'm not very good at this. So right, so what we need to do I'm going to unwind string. I did say I'd start the clock. This hedgehog's pretty good. It's the right size. Um, I'm not sure if other guitarists use fluffy hedgehogs. Um, pretty sure Jeff Loomis has got one actually. Special model. And the next step is to pick up the right thing, Allen key, and then I'm sure other people do this. You keep the tremolo on because you need access to the bridge. So I'm just going to unscrew that. Now it comes. So normally what I do when I'm restringing is I give it a good pop of shock while I'm at it, but um, we're not going to do that bit tonight. That's that one off. I'm really bad at opening things as well. So, here we go. So you wind it in from the top end, the end with the nut, obviously, is at this end, because you need the other end to be inserted into the bridge, which is the opposite of a standard bridge. My other guitar has a standard bridge, so I often get confused about what order I'm doing things in. common mistake that I make, especially on thicker strings, is leaving too much um, and you have to wind it around too many times and then I think what happens is it slips, so unless you really break it in. Once, twice, through and in. Every time I'm like, there's got to be, got to be an easier way. Here we go, now it's the fun bit, I'm tying it up. I need a better workspace really. Okay, that is one string on. Sometimes I bend it in as a go, but uh, I'll save that, get the rest on. I really, really dislike this job. I don't know why. I'm, I like pretty much every other aspect of guitar apart from this. This is my absolute least favourite thing to do. So much so that I used to really put it off and I'll be, I'm talking this is years ago when the uh, whole approach was not as professional but um, used to really put it off. So I'd have rock manky strings at gigs and I can't think of anything worse now. You need good strings. Otherwise you may as well not bother. <laughs> it's funny I'm saying this stuff like it's revelationary or like a revelation. It's not. <laughs> Everyone else knew it for years. I was just really dumb about it. See, even now I've messed that up because I'll put it through the uh, locking or two too soon. 
So now there's loads of slack in there. I need to tighten it up. Oh God, eight minutes in. Feels like it's been eight hours. Do the little, little tea towel on the air. That's the other thing I've heard people say different things about, you know, it's how many, how many wines through should you give it before you, you know, if any. I've seen people pop a string on and they've not even wound it round first, they've just gone through and then wound it from the top. But I was always under the impression you're supposed to Even just hearing myself aloud as I'm saying stuff, it's shocking how little you can know about a subject that you're involved with. I never used to care, I think that was it. I just wanted the strings on, just play, because I didn't like doing the job. I was like, right, strings on. Yeah, it doesn't matter how, just get them on, and then play, but you soon learn, it doesn't work like that. I had an absolute nightmare with the, um, I've got a Gibson um, Explorer and it had the uh, the automatic tuner on, G-Force automatic tuner. That thing was crazy and uh, it went haywire just before a gig and I couldn't get it to get the guitar in tune. It was just, all the headstocks were just spinning round and round, it was absolutely terrifying. And then in the end we took the, uh, removed the whole thing and put standard tuners on. Yeah, it's been a lot better since, but I remember trying to restring it when it had the, uh, the auto tuner on and it was so weird. Because you used to have to program it in and tell the auto tuner how tight you wanted the strings. I'm watching it and it's going really terrifying. But this is the other thing that people have told me I've done wrong before. So I'm winding the tuners on the headstock this side that way. So I guess anti clockwise. So what I've done traditionally is done exactly the same on this side and time them this way. But apparently you shouldn't do that and they should come back the opposite way so you feed the strength in through the opposite way. I honestly don't know why that makes a difference. So if you know the answer, feel free to tell me. But I've never, you know, since I've been doing it that way, um, I've not really had any issues. But um, yeah, apparently they should come back this way, the ones on this side. Another issue I had that was an absolute nightmare was that um, on the bridge, the little nuts that you tighten up where the Allen key meets the string. Uh, I lost a couple of them. Don't know how I managed that. And then I had to put them back in, but they have to go back in a certain way up. Otherwise, there's a hole where the, the string is, um, the screw meets the, the little nut. And it was slightly off center if you put it in the wrong way up. But it's impossible to actually see which way I lost. Just thinking about it is so painful. Ow. Does anyone else cut themselves on the end of the string all the time as well? Like, it's always the G string as well. It's the most awkward in all. It doesn't matter what gauge, it doesn't matter what gauge of string. It's just always awkward. And even now, that's been proper awkward. Ah. Scary. Ow. There's a ghost in here that opens my bathroom door. So I think, I, I, ugh, to me that's a bit short now. I've well, not left myself enough. So this is a it's bloody awkward. How awkward is that? I mean, should have turned it around, I suppose. And I've tried, you know, I've tried, you know, instructional videos, how to set up your guitar properly, you know, how to set it up. I do all that. Intonation, not a problem. You know, action, not a problem. You know, the distance, the pickups, the bridge. I know how the guitar should be set up. And I know, you know, it might not be to everyone's taste, but I know how I want it to be set up. But I still can't seem to master, and that's the word, master, master. The art of just putting a string on, pathetic. And I, I, I genuinely, annoy myself with it as well, you know? I remember one guitar I had, it was a 
Floyd Rose licensed tram, similar to this one. I, I couldn't, I don't think I had the tremolo, I couldn't find it or I'd lost it or I had to change the strings. So of course they, you know, they suggest you try and put in like a block or something under there to keep it up because otherwise you can't get your bloody hand in. I think I ended up with like a fag packet sticking out the end of the bridge. So this is, what's going on here now? One more. Still need to bend all these in, do you know what I mean? Like, this is gonna roughly, I know I've been trying to shit, but it's roughly gonna have taken me half an hour, you know, 25 minutes call it, to, to put the strings on. And then you've got to bend them all in, that takes ages. That takes absolutely ages for me. That little metal rod there sits over the top of the strings. Have you ever put a string on and gone over the top of it and then tightened it up? Or you've crossed over into the wrong groove where the string is supposed to sit, so you're actually, you know, if you've got the E string, you're actually in the groove of the B string by accident and it's tightened up and that was, like, contorted. This way I'm doing it now, as crap as it seems, is, is I've not had any problems for a while, really. Right, 27 minutes, 43 seconds. Any tips you've got, any comments, any advice, send it my way, because I've been in the game a long time now, and that sounds stupid, I've been in the game, you know, but I genuinely have. My first gig with a heavy metal band was literally when I was 14, and I've not stopped since. Every, every month, you know, month in, month out, gigging since that age. So a lot of experience gigging, and I know a lot about being on a stage and what's required, but this just never been very good at. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. We've got numerous gigs coming coming up, so please check all the social media. And let's not forget about our performance at Hammerfest uh, coming up in March where I can absolutely assure you the guitar strings will be strung to perfection. Keep on rocking. Keep on rocking.